Let's now go to the Volta region and the people of Tanyidbe in the home municipality struggle to access health care. A 40-year-old health center is in a dilapidated state and attempt to renovate it has not been successful due to inability to raise local resources. Robert Adolba reports the community will need external help to renovate the structure. Tainbe traditional area is located in the east of Ho, the Volta regional capital. Access to health care in Tainbe is a major challenge. The only health care facility initiated nearly four decades ago has been left to deteriorate due to poor maintenance. It no longer serves the purpose for which it was built. So do we need support. Support from government, support from individuals, from organizations, so that we can bring this up to the standard we want it to be. Right now, for example, there is no laboratory facility. Records put the annual OPD visits in the past four years to about 1,000 patients. The poor nature of the structure makes accessing healthcare a challenge. Common ailments and snake bites are reported daily, and yet finding cure is a challenge. So they've been doing their first year, but we need support. Support from government, support from individuals, from organizations, so that we can bring this up to the standard we want it to be. Right now, for example, there is no laboratory facility. With the increasing population, particularly with the establishment of a senior high school, the lack of a functioning primary health care facility is a worry for many residents. Now we needed 359,000 cities to complete this. The struggle to access health care prompted the people to once again mobilize resources to rehabilitate the health center. That venture was not successful. There is a lot of work to be done on this project to get it ready for the health workers to occupy. We have doctors and nurses here, but no room for them to treat patients. Residents are now finding uses to what is left of the facility. A nurse's bungalow now serves as a temporary treatment center for basic health care. This development is a worry to the community. I am therefore pleading for urgent support to complete this project. We look up to the government, NGOs and other benefactors to step in. Our poor farmers have been taxed enough and they can do very little this time around. A development chief of the area, Major General Henry Kwame Anindoho, sums up the frustration of the people. We have to levy the people in the four communities. And these are people who are essentially peasant farmers. So they had to move from door to door with a committee actually chasing people for these monies. And uh, some of the citizens of this place who live and work outside Tanyibwe have been making their own fair share of the contributions, but we've not been able to complete this clinic in a record time, as we would have liked it to be. The people of Tainbe are at their wit's end in finding a solution to their health care challenges. This is where we need assistance from the government, from the NGOs, corporate bodies, and the individuals who will be able to help us. The 10-room facility, when completed, is expected to take care of people from Taingbe and environs, including parts of the Republic of Togo. Residents pray and hoped help will come their way shortly to improve access to health care. And as it's for Mission, Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.